Right, we're on. Today we're going to talk about the knees and the legs and the golf swing. I'm going to need some tape, I'm going to need a head torch, and also golf club. Again, we're going to look at the golfer's point of view. What do you actually see through your eyes to see what the legs are actually doing? There's some checkpoints in here that you should be taking care of or adhering to to make sure your legs are doing the right thing. As we know, the downswing starts from the feet up. So let's make sure we get the start of the downswing correct by make sure we use the legs correctly. And this camera, which is going to be on my head, is going to show us what you really should be seeing as you come into impact. Although, I did a video on this before. My last video I did on this from the golfer's point of view, which I'll link up above there or at the end of this video, people commented that they couldn't see what the club was doing because it was doing it from my point of view. Couldn't see what the club was doing during the swing, but really it's just for rehearsal. It's really just trying to groove the motion so you can do it in slow motion, lots of slow motion moves so you can check it, lots of checkpoints, then you execute it. It's all about muscle memory. Of course you can't see the golf club or your knees at impact. Why are you even looking at them? Happy New Year by the way. Nice to be nice and all that. Hope you all had a good time. Had a great time. So, knees in the golf swing, legs. Well, at the start, everything has to turn through. We have to make sure we get that left knee externally rotating. What does the right knee actually do? That's a solid golf ball, wasn't it? What does the right knee actually do? What does the left knee do? That starts the downswing. Better ball. Okay, I'm going to try and sync this. I'm going to put this camera on my head. I look like a complete knob. Even more of a knob. Don't worry about that. Um, and film this face on so we can try and get two cameras on the go. So we're watching both sides. We'll see how this works. Right, I think we're good to go. Right, before we start this, I've just made a conscious decision that this is going to be quite hard to do, so there's going to be no editing of this. I'm just going to play both sides on the screen, just raw, and let it all happen. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, just leave comments, let me know, I'm sure you will. <laughs> there we go, so address position, I'm using the side of my camera or my phone here as alignment for where the ball would be going. So I take my address position, you can see my feet are open, we know that already. There we go. As I look down there, I can see both knees. I can see my right knee, I can see my left knee. My right knee is over the top of my foot, and my left knee, as I look down, is to the left of my foot. From my eyes, my view. I'm going to take this piece of tape. I'm going to pop it in the middle of my thigh. There we go. Now I have a reference point. Okay, here we go again. So as you can see there, dress position. My right knee is over my right foot, my left knee. As I look down, it's to the left of my left foot, as my view sees it. And then from there, up to the top of my swing. All good. Now from the top of my swing, this is the most important part here. This is what we're talking about today. My right knee, what does it do? Does it stay on top of my right foot? Well, no. As you can see from face on, now my weight's backwards. So it doesn't stay on the top of my right foot. That's not correct. You can see there how my right knee is stuck on top of my foot. The weight's stuck backwards. Get back to the top of the swing. See what happens now as I come down. I need to get my right knee away from my right toe. As I come down, you can see now I'm transferring weight. As you look down at my feet, you can see my left knee has gone outside my left foot even further. The white strip on my thigh will start to disappear as my weight transfers to the left. My left knee now my right knee now, sorry, is inside my right foot. You can see I've come off my right heel. My right heel is inside my face on my right heel is inside my right toe. I've gone from that position to there, as you can see face on. My right knee has moved from top of right foot inside. Weight on the instep. Everything's moving to the left. This patch on my left thigh, if you like, has started to disappear as I look down at my feet. I transfer, slide towards target, that axis tilt. My left knee externally rotates round. So now the tape starts to disappear out of view as I look down. Right knee's coming away from right toe. Left thigh's externally rotated. Left knee's externally rotated. Left knee starts to straighten up. Now as I look down, this white tape has almost completely disappeared. You can see there, it's starting to rotate away. 
right knee is even further away from right toe and left knee and left thigh go up the way let's take a golf club in hand and do this golf club top of my swing there now looking fully at my feet here I can see the tape in the middle of my left thigh my right knee is over my right toe coming down 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 right knee is getting away from right toe Left knee's externally rotating and left leg starting to straighten. I'm starting to get my right heel away from my right toe. Right knee's away from right toe. Left leg externally rotating, coming up into impact. There. Impact position would be there. So if I take my hands and arms away now and look down. I can see my right knee is well inside my right foot. The tape on my left leg has almost fully disappeared. My left leg's fully straightened or close to it. From there. And the wrong position, as you know, would be looking face on that my weight stayed on the backside. My right knee's pretty much over my right toe. I can still see all the tape on my left leg at impact. It's not a good position to be in. That there is very different than that. That's what to look for. Look for the right knee, moving away from the right toe. Look for the in inside of left thigh, externally rotating. The left knee externally rotates up and straightens. So that action happens. Keep the golf club, that action. what we're after. Let's take this thing off. So it's quite stressful. <laughs> but you get the idea that the right knee, if you look down and you see your right knee going away from your right toe, you're in a good place. If you see your right heel coming away from your right toe, you're in a good place. Everything's transferring towards target there. Everything's laterally rotating, going towards target laterally and rotating, lateral rotation. The more you start with your open feet like Eureka and you just slide towards target, the rotation will naturally happen because your hips are already open. So what does this all mean? At impact, you only feel as though you're getting the right heel away from the right toe, like that. Therefore, the right knee is moving away from the right toe. That action is happening at impact. And this action, the left knee is externally rotating and straightening. Put them both together. You've got that. You watch McElroy, when they slow McElroy down, his right heel and his right toe, if they start in a straight line towards camera, as he comes into impact, he comes down, 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 down. To impact, he's there. And you'll see how his heel and his toe have moved away from each other. Left leg, this tape's starting to move out of the way. We're there at impact. Good, very different than that motion. So yeah, as I mentioned before, somebody mentioned on my previous video about this, that they can't see that as they're actually playing the shot. And of course you can't see it as you're playing the shot. My word. But if you can do it as slow as you can and make it muscle memory and practice, then there's a chance we can do it on the course. So I can set myself up now. Now I want to see and feel that. So now I've got a visual checkpoint. I can see what's going on with the tape on the left leg. I can see how my right knee and right heel is reacting to both motions, both right knee and left knee motion. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's do one more. Again, from the top. I'm really bored how I get to the top. I'm at the top. Thinking about how the downswing starts by using the legs. There, okay. Left knee extends and rotates and straightens. Right knee comes away from right toe and right heel comes away from right toe. Just like that. I look the ball. It's really good. Really good. Right. I'm well aware of how silly I must have looked there with this camera on the head, but it gives you a good visual view. It lets you see, 
It's a better visual view, maybe not. It lets you see what you should be seeing with your eyes. That's just rubbish English. It lets you understand what the player should be visualising or actually being able to see at the point of the downswing when it's taking place. There's so much coaching goes on about this is what you need to look like down the line from the third person, this is what you need to look like face on from the third person like I had with that camera. But what do we actually see with our eyes? That's what we need to see with our eyes. Having these checkpoints of what the player visually has to see is much better, I think, than having a third person look down the line going, oh, that's how I should look. That's me doing that, that's what I should see. Well, that's what I should look like. But what do you actually see when you're physically trying to do that? Don't know. I'm full of the cold, I'm dying here.